afternoon everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. The sun is shining here in Iowa. It's about a little over 50 degrees. Then it's going to drop down into the 20s again tonight, but I'm not going to complain. Do you remember this paper that I made? I showed you guys on another coffee break. Well, I am going to show a little bit of what I'm going to uh, do with wrapping. And it can be for Mother's Day or little party favors or whatnot. So, all different types of ways to um, dress up soap. And this is just a plain soap. Here's one. Just example. I will show you more. There's another one. There's two like that. And then something like this. And I have more to show, but and it will start with this. So, yes. That is what I'm going to show you in this video. I already did a whole bunch of the papers, so I'm going to show you step by step of what I did. Got a little bit of water. I'm sure everyone knows how to do this kind of thing, but what I'm doing is kind of doing a paper tear. Can you see that on the edges? You can do it by just getting it wet and pulling it, but... When you're on a time crunch and you want to get a whole bunch of stuff done, you just take a little brush, dip it in your water, and just lightly go to the edges like this. And I'm left-handed, so I will start this way. Probably in your way, huh? It's quiet. It's just me and Tater. Danny's at home for the weekend. And Tater is just fed. She's so funny. I was thinking about Maria. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, she knows she eats about 4, around 4.30, but it's usually 4.21. That little girl of mine. Starts getting rambunctious, won't leave me alone, jumping around, looking at me, kind of whining a little bit, but just trying to get my attention is for sure. And I look at the clock, sure enough, 420 on the dot. She thinks it's her time to eat. And she was right, and then she's happy and all that good stuff. Now she's fat and sassy, and I think she's underneath the table. Here is... A butter knife and I'm left-handed so I wanted to make sure that while I'm going on both sides that it's going to take and rip if you want to say so I just start if you can see this I can't do it right-handed well try and I just go like that but I can't do it right right-handed so I just go to the edges I know you can't see me I don't know which other way I could do it for y'all. Maybe right like that. And I just go like this. If I'm not demonstrating, I can do it real fast. So if I'm sitting down watching TV and there, now I'm going to put it the way I usually do. And you see all my little piles up there? Yep, the hillbilly's going to use that for another project. So I just take it and tear the edges if it gets a little dry then I just re-wet it and I save them because I'm going to put glue and some other stuff and make another project on another day you want to see I'll try to remember when I have days like this or days I'm telling you I miss my soaping but I gotta wait a few more weeks for income tax to get my lie and 
and then I can make a list. <laughs> you have so much that you can spend, so you have to add and take away. So biggest thing is I will get the lie then, but I have so much to do now. So my little um, addictive fit ain't going to do me no good. But anyways, then I'm going to get some micas and for my colorants and getting low on a lot of things. So I'm excited about daydreaming and making my list. So this is a really neat way to make party favors like weddings if they want to go. You know, like a little organic. We're going to dress it up in a little bit. Different stuff. Mother's Day. Maybe just a little hostess gift or a friend that's having a rough week or something. Just a little I love you gift. Little love gifts. Uh, if I say if, I know you guys are probably so sick and tired of that, but you know where I'm going. Okay, let's just say if I had a shop, I would be putting them on. Let's see, I'm in my jammies, but I showed you before. I want to show you again. You can see all this, but here is my. A little bit yeah maybe this is a plate that I made for displays and then I have these little babies that I made and they will be I'm gonna put them on the website for people to order but I would take get this out of your way I would take a bunch of these little ones and just put them all up there right where the register is and people can grab them and take them home and give them as little gifts. I think that would be really, really neat. Also, it displays that um, if you had a shop or a store that you make wedding favors and other party favors and hostess gifts and stuff like that good way to display. Now, if I was at the farmer's market, which all of us know, in the, if it's not indoors, I've always hit the outdoor ones because I just have to look outside. I'm an outside girl. But if it was warm weather and I was at a farmer's market, especially big ones, I would display them like that. Of course, you just give out cards and give out cards. Um, I would take my little um, display dishes that I made, all different sizes, and I would put these on display. And it depends on what it is, like the little cupcakes or something like that. I love to throw in when someone buys from me. I love to throw in my card and a little thank you gift. Yes, it didn't take very much. Um, the little mini cupcakes. I used to make a lot of cupcakes and cakes, and they went very well, but. That was before surgery. After surgery, I haven't been back out there. But I would have them displayed out like that. It was just when I made soap. I had extra pour or I did it on purpose just for that reason. And those would be little thank you gifts. Always. So, just put them on a pretty thing and people really 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 appreciate it and if you're going to be there for a couple of days guess who shows up again yes and they usually bring friends and say see this is the soap lady i was telling you about and there they go and i've had them come back 
<laughs> like when I was in McGregor right out right downtown in the little triangle park I showed you that when I was doing the Christmas thing but um, we get a lot a lot of traffic of people visiting the area due to the Mississippi River and they would be going home somewhere some far some not too far I would be buying up all my little samples and things like that. I was like, well, why not? That's what you're there for. They just get something else out. So this is something else, I guess. I'm just rambling on that you could be having out there. And in the shop. And in display of letting people know that it takes three weeks. Put your order in. And they can design it as far as the colors, things like that. So, are you tired of me randomly now? And here you go, you guys. That's what I did. Like, you can iron it, but I kind of like it. I like this. It's very shabby shaky. Yep. Why not? Put that one over there to dry, and let's get on. Yeah, I can't wait. Look at how pretty that is. It's got different colors in it. Yeah, I'm going to come up with something pretty, pretty, pretty. No, I don't hoard, you guys. I If, if I got an idea, it's usually within two months, and I make notes and I get her done. If not, if things are more than six to nine months that I know I'm, you know, like, oh, it's a good idea, but i too busy or whatever, it gets gone somehow, some way. So when you come up with some ideas, then this soap smells so good and it's like a dusty rose, but I don't think the light is putting it with the color is and it just looks so antiquey but oh my goodness it smells so good you could do this with just plain white soap or whatever but like i said these will be for little samples and see the end part right there is not straight i don't waste anything so, you can tape it, or you can glue it, like I am. I'm going to do it this way, because just a little dab of do ya. I don't want to get on my soap. I'm going to pull it over there, and voila. That's what I call naked soap wrapping. People can smell it. Mm, we know they will. Okay. So let's get some of our creative juices going here. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on there. And you can dress it up any way you want to. And of course, extra ribbon that it needs to be ironed. But let's just start building on it. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? Um, I would put down, I'd say, a piece of lace or something. There. And then put a ribbon on. Like that. I love to build up. And all you perfectionists out there, just knock it off. Just go with what you have. Just get creative. Look at that. And let's see what else you put. Oh, I don't have the right color, but you get my drift on that. Just put a little something on there. Oh, yeah. 
you can do it just as elegant as you want or dress it down like this is poor like kind of rustic pretty and this one's more getting fancy and I have let's see all right now you I think I got this at Walmart but you could go to Walmart and you can look sometimes they have grab bags and that pretty lace I mean it is so soft it's a creamy color but look at what happens when I do this foundation. Now, let's do a little dressy, dressy up. Okay, we all see at the dollar stores and even Walmarts when they start going in season, out of season, they have a whole bunch of different types of artificial flowers. I love the cloth ones. I think I got this one at Dollar General, I don't know how many years ago. But so I take everything apart. Yes, take it apart. You know, take all that stuff off. Then I re-glue it. So let's build up on this. So I glue that in there. You see this? And if I wanted to, I could take a pearl but you can get anywhere. It's to string, you know, beads or whatever. Or go to the thrift stores and see if they got junk jewelry anywhere. That's cheap. It's thrown away sometimes. I want to hang on to it. There we go. Okay. You can put it in there. Well, maybe I should just put it down here. I think you can see it. I'll be zooming in. So, you got a little pearl there. Or, how about, here's junk jewelry that I was talking about. Take off this part. I didn't bring my clippers with me, but guess what? That's how they break so easy. Take it off. See? Glue it on. You see? Or you can make this even smaller, the flower, if you want. All right, let's see. Oh. Is that what I want? Oh, yep, you can do it that way, too. Junk. I don't know where I got that, but yeah. Or I think what I got that for was yes, I think it was at Walmart. It was on a spool and it had all these little rosette kind of shabby chicy flowers. Put that on there. that in the middle or some kind of just funky whatever change out the ribbon see bling bling and you want it to be shabby chicy so you want something that's just like all right Oh my god, I'll do it kind of so. Oops. I can't believe it's coming on when it's so cool outside. But that's okay. Yep, yeah, I took a necklace apart. With my shabby cheeky. That's my favorite thing. What? No, what? Else I could probably put on. Maybe I should have left that on there already. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the shabby shiki, which is my favorite. I should just get that pearl down there. Huh? Let me do that, you guys. 
I'm not going to get in a hurry because I can edit it now. So, I'll take my glue gun, just put a little bit right there. Yes, this is the high heat, but in a sense, I like it because it gives me time to work with it. Okay, so there you go. And then we can put that on there. And a little stone. All the kinds of stuff. Whatever colors. Tater starts chewing them up. Well, oh, it's not their glass. She might not want to do that. But let's see. Hmm. What was I gonna show you? It's probably oh, and this. The little hand made with love. Cute little shabby shaky thing. And can you see that on there? A lot. Okay. Or here we go, Deborah. With the bling bling. Just something just elegant for a wedding. A little shower. Isn't it pretty? Any kind of um, lace looks very, very nice. Don't have to do too much with it. Or just a little flower. I got red ones over there you already saw. Anything. Just use your little noggin about, you know, dressing up things, undressing things. Whatever. Here is another idea that I absolutely love because you know I love cheesecloth. Just get you some scraps. I don't know what I got on there. Then find something to put on the middle. I think just to. Yeah, that could do, but I think I would, let's see, well, without this on there, yeah, there you go, another different look, got raffia, all different kinds of stuff, let's put this on here, put a pretty, ribbon on it which maybe make this is what I do I try to find out what I want to make and then I make a prototype and then I like it or not like it saying, Patty, what in the heck are you doing with that one? Okay, that gold looks very nice. Well, then I would take and just rag up my cheesecloth. Even maybe just cut it just a little bit and spread it out so that it looks good. Burlap. There's another good one. Burlap is always in. Scrap. Um fabric. Just start dressing it up. Add something. I don't know. A pretty ribbon. Put some flowers on. Artificial or real. Dried ones. I could even bring them out there. That would be pretty on there, wouldn't it? And what about that? And put some bling bling in the middle of it. Whatever you choose. Hmm. It's tender. 
her in now, I think. There. A nice little pearl or a smaller one. Whatever. Oops. <laughs> that thing is going to get to me yet. I'm just going to put it down here and you guys can kind of take a look. But that's how I do it. I just sit down with all of the little things that I collect or say, no, I can use that for decorating or whatever. Can you guys see that? Very pretty. There. I'm afraid to lift it up. So you guys will have to zoom in. I can only lean it so far, y'all. All right. Okay, on to the next. This is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to figure out, or I'm just going to keep it into a family of certain type. Like, maybe these two together. I'll just keep using the red little rosette and with the green and keep doing that and put that on my little shelf or I might just use a twig and keep doing something in that favor or I love that I'll figure out something and just keep making these and putting different little things on it or you can just leave it at that, I think. Yep, I just put this label because they're going to be going on my little display thing. If it was for a wedding or something, I would have a little drop tag down. And voila. Okay. See? Easy, easy. Little things that you can make. Okay. On to the next, which will be um, my is it rice milk. I'm going to do that next, so I'll just catch it on to here. Just keep on going, huh? Okay, I'm just going to attach this part to. Here's another of the paper that I showed you that I made. And this is the cinnamon vanilla. And... I think men like the cinnamon vanilla more so than women, but we're going to pretend it isn't the cinnamon vanilla and another way of dressing up your handmade paper that you're being frugal. And then, of course, you would put your label on there right on the top. Isn't that pretty? Or didn't know what you know just taking the day out an afternoon and messing with paper just painting them this is an abstract one but didn't it turn out beautiful well I mean you know what I mean but how about really dressing it up oh la la claw and look at that label on it. Yep, I think that's what, what this is what I do is I take something like this and I got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I just tape it and I just stick it through. This is pretty much towards the end. I had a whole bunch of um, uh, cloth ribbon and that's what I do is I just stick it on in there and tape it down on one side, let it dangle, let me see what I got. So there you go. Even a uh, blue. Go. Dressing up anything. There you go. And this would even work. And then putting the label on. So get big and see, get busy, get busy. Alright. Bring you guys back when I get ready to do the other parts. Okay, you guys, I am finished for the day. And it looks like it's every Saturday afternoon we have a coffee break. So stay tuned for next Saturday. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like and 
leave a comment. Let's see if I can get any more of that around. But these are just like little party favors, and it was part of the wrapping. I didn't get to show you last week all of them finished. And I did send some um, that I did, and I got them all packaged up, so I couldn't I couldn't show you them. But they were done with feathers, and they were a little bit bigger. And Miss Cindy, they're on their way to you, girl. All right. Love all of you. And I'm going to say bye-bye. <laughs> I'm holding this if you can see that. All right. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.